Hello guys, my name is Balkrishna Shivastam and welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, we write a Java program to display calendar for a given month. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because your subscription is very important and out of 100 viewers, only one or two is subscribed. So please, 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 please subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. So I am given a month and a year. So suppose I'm given a month number in mm equal to 12 and I'm given a year. Okay, say 2019. So for month number 12 and year 2019, so month number 12 is December. Okay, so I need to print the calendar for December 2019. So I need to print something like this. I'll say December, the name of the month. Okay, for 12 I have December, the year and then the calendar. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Okay, for December 2019, the first day was on, date one was on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So given an input mm equal to 12 and yyy y equal to 19, month number and year, I need to print an output on console that should look like this calendar for this month. So this is the output I expect. Okay. Output. Okay. For this input. Okay. Name of the month, name of the year, then name of the days, and then the calendar. All right. Let me take another example. mm is equal to 8, yy, yy, equal to 1947. Okay, so August 1947, so name of the month. Okay, okay, year, then the days starting from Sunday. Okay, all right. So August 1947 had its first day on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, so this is how the calendar look like for August 1947. This is another example. And I'm showing this another example because the first day will not always be on Sunday. Okay, it might be from any other day. Okay, and then it continues till the number of days in this month. So August had 31, August has 31 days and December also has 31 days. Okay, accordingly. All right. So this problem was brought to me by a student. I guess way back in like two or three years back, four years back. Okay, so this is a very interesting problem and I love solving it. So this is your expected output on the console or your terminal. Okay. So you know that when you print output to standard output, which is console slash terminal, the printing happens from left to right and top to bottom. So that you print the first line, then you print the second line, then you print the third line and so on. Okay. So in our case also, we have to keep in mind that printing happens to standard output left to right and then top to bottom. Okay. Keeping that in mind, the first thing that you have to print is the first line from the top left to right, which is this. All right. So you need to print certain amount of space, then December, then space, and then the year. All right. And this is where we start. So I'm going to write a function void display calendar. Okay. For this month number and for this year. Okay. So this is our first line to print. Okay. This is the first line to print and we need to print certain amount of spaces. Now, how many spaces do we need to print? So the number of spaces should be enough so that the name of the month. Okay. And the year comes in the center. Okay. So right now I'm going to simply print December 2019 as it is. And then I'm going to shift it later according to the length of this second line. Okay. So that it comes in the center. All right. So I need the name of the month and the year. All right. So I'm going to say SOPLN. Okay. The name of the month and the year. I have two ways to get the name of the month. I can write my own helper method or I can use calendar class method. Okay. Currently, I don't know what method of the calendar class will give me the name of the month. Okay. I will show you that in the code. Okay. That what is the method that gives you the name of the month in the calendar class. Right now, I'm going to write a helper function to give me the name of the month. So I'll say string get month name takes in a month. Okay. In mm. And we know that month is between 1 to 12. Okay. For 1, we return January. For 2, we return February and so on. So I'll take an array string month names. Okay. And it, it consists the names of all the months. Okay. So location 0 is empty. Okay. Location 1 is January. Location 2 is February. Okay. Drive is related codes. Location 3 is March, November and December. Okay. 
so array with 13 locations indices 0 to 12 month names i will give you the name of the ith month so i return month names of mm all right and that is my function all right so location 0 is redundant location 1 has january location 2 has feb march april may june july august september october and november december okay so ith index will give in the ith month name and that is what i am returning for the given value of mm okay so i call this function here i need to print the name of the month okay so i'll say get month name for this mm all right and as i told you i'm not printing white spaces right now okay there should be white spaces before printing this month name so that it comes in the center i'll take care of that later okay i get the month name i need a single space followed by the year okay right and i change the line because this line is printed and i move on to the next line so that i print the name of the days next all right first job is done so after the first line of output i need to print my second line of output which is this entire line okay which is the name of the days all right okay each day occupies three characters so if i take saturday take saturday for example has three characters there has to be some white space between the two day names all right so i take two white space characters between two day names all right this makes up a total of five characters for a day name all right so i'll print two spaces sunday i'll print two spaces monday i'll print two spaces tuesday and so on all right so five characters for each of the days all right and for that i'm going to use percent 5 s all right of system dot out dot print f i'll show you how so i'll say so print f system dot out dot print f percent 5 s for sunday percent 5 s for monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday all right okay this percent 5s is called format specifier okay all right this is a c style specifier used in system dot out dot printf because printf is a c function okay so this says print percent s in five spaces so what is percent s percent s is used to print a string okay percent d is used to print an integer all right so print percent s in five spaces so you insert five in between percent and s all right if you make it minus five it is left aligned if you make it plus five it is right aligned all right so if you pass a three character string to percent s to be printed okay to this uh, format specifier it is right aligned all right and has to occupy five spaces so two extra spaces goes at five spaces all right so five characters okay occupy five spaces right aligned saturday is right aligned and extra spaces are white spaces and that is what we want all right so this is in detail about printf i've already added a video about printf you can uh, i'll add the link for that video in the description all right so five characters for each day so one two three four five six seven days okay and arguments are going to be first is sunday monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, all right. Okay, and we need to change a line as well. So I'll add a change in line here. Okay, I don't have a space. I'll say S O P L. Okay, all right. So this is going to print your first. This is going to print your second line. Okay. Right. This is one single statement. Okay. This printf is one single statement, and I would add a backslash n here at the end, but I don't have space. I showed in the code how to do. So I added an extra change in line. Okay. So we come here. We need to start printing the dates. So now we need to start printing the dates. Okay. Starting from one. Okay. Till the maximum number of days in this month for this given year. All right. So if the day starts from Sunday, you start printing from here. If the day starts from Friday, you start printing from here. If the day starts on Wednesday, you start printing from there. All right. Okay. So first thing you need to know is the day of the week where the first date is. Okay. All right. That is how you can identify from where you need to start printing. Okay. And this is where you use the calendar class. So I'll say calendar. Cal is calendar dot get instance. So this is how you get a object for calendar class. Okay. This is the standard way. You cannot 
actually do calendar cal equal to new this is how you get the object for calendar class okay we need to set the month and year so i'll say cal dot set i'll say calendar dot month okay set this field to mm minus 1 now mm minus 1 because month is zero indexed in calendar okay so zero is basically january in calendar class one is feb two is march and so on that's why i said mm minus 1 this field which is calendar dot month okay then i said cal dot set calendar dot year okay to y y y y okay all right and what is the day of the week that i'm looking for is the first date so i'll say calendar dot set this field is day of month day of month this is this is all predefined in calendar class these are all static fields in calendar class that's why i'm able to access them by uh, using the class name calendar dot Day of month. This is underscore underscore underscore. Okay, I'll show you in the code how this works. Okay, get me the day of month. Sorry, set the day of month to one. All right. So now this calendar has the date for the first day of this month and year. All right. Okay, and then we can get the day of the week now. So I'll say int day of week cal dot get calendar. The field that we need to get is calendar dot day of week okay right using this cal instance to get the calendar's day of week so this is a static field again this gets me the day of week where this date was so i will get a value here which will be between 1 to 7 1 signifies sunday 2 is monday 3 is tuesday and so on okay 1 to 7 all right so we have a day of week 1 to 7 within this variable okay 1 signifies we start printing from monday 2 signifies we start printing from monday 3 signifies we start printing from tuesday and so so now i know what day of the week is the first date of the month and it is from that day that i start printing from 1 onwards okay so suppose if my day of week was 1 so i start printing from sunday if my day of week was 6 i start printing from friday okay suppose my day of week was 6 i need to start printing from here okay this all has to be white space all right so when the first day is on friday i need to skip 1 2 3 4 5 days okay so each day is five characters okay and how many days 1 2 3 4 5 5 total white spaces all right so i can say units of 1 2 3 4 5 white spaces into 5 If my first day was on Friday, Thursday, so I need to put, so I need to skip one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is going to be five units into four. Okay, so I start from i equal to one to less than the day of the week. So I'll say for int i equal to one, i less than day of week. Okay, i plus plus. Okay. right and you do system dot out dot print f okay i was doing percent 5s to print the three character day so i'll do percent 5s to print to print a blank all right so this will print five blank spaces all right or you can simply hard code five blank spaces you can do either way so for day of week equal to 1 all right you don't need to skip any days the first is on sunday all right So one is less than one will be false. This loop will not run. If your day of week is two, which is two Monday, all right. So you need to skip one day. So i equal to one, i less than two. This happens once. So you skip five five white spaces once. So you print five white spaces once, all right. Similarly, if day of week is three, this loop run twice. So day of week is three. You are here. You need to skip these two so that you start printing one from here, all right. Okay. So we have skipped white spaces now, and now we need to start printing from one till the number of days. So I'll say for int i equal to one. Okay. So this loop is basically printing all the days. So it goes from one till the number of days in this month. So how do I get the number of days in this month and this year? I can either use a helper method or I can use the calendar class methods. Here I'm going to write a helper method, and in the code I'm going to show you how to use the calendar class methods. 
So I'm going to write my own method int. Okay. Get num days in month. Okay. Takes mm takes y y y y y y. All right. Int days is equal to. Okay. It's a hard coded array. Zero, thirty-one, twenty-eight. For index one, number of days in one, which is number of days in January thirty one, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. All right, and return days mm. Okay, all right. So for index zero, you don't have anything because this is redundant. Index one is month number one, return thirty one days. Index two, you return twenty eight days. Index three is March. Index four is April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. All right. One thing we need to take care is if this is a leap year, you return twenty nine. Okay. So if we will need another helper method is if is leap year. This is another helper method that I will write. Okay. If is leap year, we do days of two plus plus. All right. And I will write this helper method in the code. Okay. Okay, right, because I don't have space here. Okay, this is a standard check for to check if here is a leap year or not. If it is, I increment the number of days in this at index two by one, so this becomes twenty nine. All right. For all the other months, the number of days will be the same. All right. So this gives me the number of days. So I go till I less than equal to get num days in month. Okay, not adding the entire method, calling this method with this month and this y y y y and going forward. Okay, so we have skipped the white spaces. Okay, now we are printing. So this date that you print should be aligned with the name of the day. So it should occupy the same characters as the day name did. So it should occupy five characters. So I should say percent five d. Okay, so five spaces, right align, and print an integer. So this percent d prints an integer. Okay. Again, I have written a printf method which explains all these format specifiers. This is a C type specifier that prints an integer, and percent five d will print right align. Percent minus five d will print this integer left align. We are keeping our day names right align, so our dates are also to be right align. So I use percent five d. Okay. So I do so printf. Okay. Percent five d, and I pass. Okay, all right. So suppose we were here. Okay, so I was one. This is printed. This is printed. Okay, we already skipped spaces. This is find the first day of week to start printing. Okay, okay. So I is one. We printed the first. Okay, day one. Then I is two. We printed this. Okay, for I is three, it will print here. Okay. It will go beyond the number of days we have. So after we cover seven days, both including skipping the days and printing here, we should be moving to the next line. All right. So after I say skip five spaces and printed the first two days, I need to change a change a line. So I need to keep a day count that starts with zero. Okay. So when I am sp skipping days. My day count is increasing. Okay, so if I'm skipping five days, I've already counted five days of the week. I just need to print two and change line. Okay, so if day count, okay, percent seven equal to zero, that is day count is a multiple of seven. I change line. Okay, and my day count keep increasing as I print the dates. Okay. So taking this case again, okay, we print we printed five spaces. We were here. We printed for i equal to one, okay, or we printed for i equal to two, okay. Day count was five here. Day count if I take it for DC because I printed I skipped five days. After printing the first two, DC becomes seven. So when you print the first seven, this becomes two. Line changes, so you come here, okay. I becomes three, okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You are printing each i in five character spaces. Okay, i was two here. Okay, day count was seven here. I is nine here. Day count is fourteen. 
Okay, so when day count becomes 14, line changes again, you come here and you print again, and so your printing goes on till here. And finally, you change the line. Okay, all right. Okay, so this is basically your printing tips. Okay, so this was the code to print this calendar. Okay, and now I am going to run this on a system for multiple dates. Okay, and I'll show you how the output works. I'll also show you how to bring this in center. So this part is left. I'll show you in the code how to bring this in center. Okay. I'm going to show you the methods to get the number of days in month. Okay. Which I'm using here using calendar class methods. And there was another calendar class method that we could use, which was getting the month name. Okay. This also I'll show you in the code. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. So before moving on to the system and learning this, it is required that if you like this video, if you find this helpful, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel and let's move on to running this one system now. So this is the code that we wrote and discussed. Okay. All right. So we use helper methods to get the month name for the given month number to check if this year is a leap year or not to get the number of days in month for this month and this year. And then this method display calendar that displays the calendar as we want for this given month and this given year. So I have this system dot out dot print Helen here because I was not able to add this in the whiteboard. Okay. It is the same thing. All right. So let me print for December 2019. So I get this. All right. The calendar is correct. I just need to bring this in the center. Okay. That is, I need to print white spaces to the left of December so that it comes in the center. All right. So let me see how we do this. So I am going to write a helper function static void print white space that takes the month and the year. Okay. All right. And this will print the white spaces so that the month and the year comes in the center. I get the month name first. So I'll say get month name for this given month. Okay. Then I take a variable total len, which is the total number of characters that I need to print, which includes the month name, one white space and the number of characters occupied by the year. This is going to be equal to month name length plus one for a single white space plus the number of characters that this year occupies, which is this. All right. So I'm converting this integer to a corresponding string and then finding its length. Okay. This gives me the number of characters in this year. Okay. The number of digits in this year. All right. I need to print these many characters in the center. Okay. So in the center of what? So second line. Okay. Is 35 characters. Okay. How 35 characters? It is equal to 5 into 7 characters. Since each day occupies 5 characters and we have 7 days. All right. So you need to print these many characters in the center of 35 characters. So let me represent 35 characters using dots. So these are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay. The center of this is going to be 35 by 217. So I skip 17 dots. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So my center is this one. Okay. So my center is this. 17 characters to the left and 17 characters to the right. Okay. I need to print these many characters so that it comes in the center like this. All right. So half of total n characters should be left of the center and half of it should be at the right of the center. So I can say I need to skip these many dots. Okay. I need to skip these many dots. So I print total n characters like this. So how many dots I need to skip? This is equal to this center, which is 35 by 2 minus half of total n. Okay. This is the part that we are subtracting. So we say total n by 2. So I say in num white space is equal to 35 by 2 minus total n by 2. All right. And these are the number of white spaces I need to print before printing the month name so that the month and the year come in the center. So I say i equal to 0 i less than num white spaces i plus plus and in each iteration I print a single white space. So it prints these many white spaces. Okay. And I call this method right before printing the month name. Okay. All right. Now when I run this, I should get the month and the year in the center, which I get like this. Let me take a shorter month name, which is May. Okay. So May is also in the center. Let me take August. August is also in the center. All right. 
Now I will print the calendar for the entire year. So I'll say mm equal to 1, mm is less than equal to 12, mm plus plus. Display calendar for this month and this year. So I'll take year in a separate variable. I'll say 2020. Okay. All right. And after printing each month, I change a line. So this gives me the calendar for entire 2020. Okay. So first starts here, 31st here. So the first of the next month starts Saturday, which is here. 29th is here because February had 29 days in 2020, leap year. So the first starts on Sunday, which is here. All right. Similarly, the first starts after 31st, which is here. First starts after 30th, which is here and so on. All right. So one more thing that I need to tell you here is how to use calendar class methods to get the month name and the number of days in month so that you don't have to use these helper methods. So I comment this out. Okay. And I will use calendar class methods. Okay. And there is nothing wrong using your helper methods. Okay. You remember them, you can code them. Okay. For calendar class methods, you always have to remember the method names. Okay. So this also takes the calendar class object because this will have to get the month name. So to get the month name, I say calendar dot get display name. All right. Takes three parameters. First is the value that you want to represent, which is the month. Okay. Second is the parameter to get the short or the longer format of the month. For example, for September, you can get SEP or the whole word September. So I want the longer format of the month name. All right. And then this the local, which is English. Okay. Get me the month name in English. All right. And this will also take calendar. Okay. So I can use this exact same thing to get the month name here as well. All right. Okay. And then how do I get the number of days in month using calendar? So I say calendar dot get actual maximum. Okay. For which field for day of month. So this will give me the maximum value for day of month in this given month, which is basically the number of days in this given month. Okay. So let me run this. I should get the same output. Okay. And I get the same output. All right. Let me change the year to say 2018. Okay. Running this again, I get the calendar for 2018. Changing this to 2019, I get the calendar for 2019. All right. So this was the solution to this problem and I hope this was helpful. So if you like this video, if you found this helpful, please, 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 please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share my channel. And if there is something that you do not like in this video, please just don't press the dislike button. Please also let me know in the comments what was that that you did not like about this video. All right. So that I can improve in my further videos. You can also let me know in the comments if there is a question you want me to solve or if there is a concept you want me to discuss. Thank you.